All right, so real quick, um, you know, the Green Star program right now is going to be uh, listed up in Google Drive. It's currently going to be a Google Drive program um, for, for, for the interim. Uh, we are working with the team to build this out um, within WordPress so it is more accessible because I do know that some folks have a lot of issues with accessing Google Drive and, and using it, if they're especially if they're not um, Gmail users. Um, so it kind of is what it is for now. Um, and then, like I said, um, we're going to be working on the WordPress version and then launching that um, with all of your feedback on the uh, Google Drive uh, version. So very first thing to know is that we have sort of this um, Green Star uh, public folder uh, that everybody is going to have access to. Um, everybody's going to have uh, access to this, this Green Star um, open source public folder. And we're going to be adding a couple more tools into this folder as we go. Um, but the number one thing you're going to be looking for here is the Green Star Homes um, workbook checklist that also includes our home water score program. So um, hopefully everybody has access to that. And if you don't have that right now, just let me know in the chat. And uh, for those of you watching this recording, there is a link to this um, down in the uh, in the YouTube comments as well for you those of you watching this in the future. Um, so you can go ahead and grab that and I can get you access to it. Um, so once you open that up, you're going to uh, essentially have a, a locked version. Um, and so you know basically what you what you need to do at that point is go into the file section up here and then click uh, make a copy. Um, and then at that point, you uh, should theoretically have um, a tool that you can start to use on your own once you've created that copy. It'll be your version and it won't be the master copy that everyone else has. Um, so you just go in, again, just click make copy and then it will go up on your shared drive folder and, and you'll be able to have a functioning. Now, um, just to give you a warning, you, you can download this as an Excel file. You, you're certainly more than welcome to do that. Uh, just know that um, the functionality uh, will break, the points, additions, and all that. Um, the, the, um, the coding will break in Excel. It won't work for you. So you do have to use it online. Uh, works great on a phone, on Google Sheets, or on your computer. Uh, we've tested it out. And so you've got to keep it up on, online to keep the functionality. Uh, if you can't get it to work that way, feel free to download it. And at the very least, you can still do most of the things, and then you'll just have to add up the points by hand. So that's the only downside. Um, so you're welcome to do that, just giving that warning that it will break um, some of these different functions. Um, so again, here's sort of the first tab here, the details tab. Um, from here, you can access the full-blown Green Star Manual. Uh, and you can also join our mailing list that's specifically for Green Star updates as the program improves. So, um, you know, what you're going to want to do here is when you get a project started, um, you can do a uh, project name, you start to fill in the address, um, start to fill in the type of projects. We do multifamily, we do mixed use multifamily, and we're looking at also allowing light commercial office space like buildings if you have one of those. Uh, and then also, what type of project is it? Is it a new construction, remodel, an addition? And then also this new one, we're trying to look for some better wording, but this is more for just like a kind of continuous home improvement or building improvement that's not even really getting into the remodeling world, but we can also score uh, those types of projects out. Uh, these types of projects, this type of selection here works really great for um, like bathroom remodels or kitchen remodels uh, as well. Um, and then here, uh, so these are some important numbers to fill out. You want to put in your condition square footage and your number of bedrooms, which is going to impact um, a few different things. Uh, and then here is, you know, we're just looking for the, the person in charge of the project. If you've hired a Green Star assessor, you know who that is. You may also be the Green Star assessor leading the project. So if that's the case, then, you know, you can either... Uh, ideally, you're just kind of putting who your main contact is if you're not if you are the assessor. Um, and then, uh, you know, from there, um, putting in your information as the assessor. 
Um, so a project ID number will get issued um, either if you if you complete a, a preliminary plan review, and we'll go over those, uh, or uh, when you certify, that's when you'll get your your project ID. So um, just ignore that until you you know go to submit. Uh, here is just sort of you to kind of set your own your team's internal goals for what level we have certified silver, gold, or platinum. And then again, when you first go to um, submit your project, uh, you might be doing a pre-construction plan review. So you would fill that out or the assessor would fill that out. Or is this a final submission? Or are you doing, uh, we have the ability to recertify. So say for example, you get your project up to the certified level. And then you know how, I know how it is owning a home. You, you're always doing continual improvement. So again, you might want to take the workbook and then update a few things. Maybe you went through and um, did a landscape project and you did drop tolerant grass in your yard and that maybe bumped you up from silver to gold, just, just an example. Or maybe you added solar panels and that uh, improved your energy score to bump you up from you know gold to platinum. And just using examples here, you can um, resubmit to, to, um, to certify. And then also, um, if you're just using this as a test tool, this is open source to the public. Anyone can use this. Um, you know, that's kind of a thing you can fill out there too. Um, and then these things are all populating based on the inputs on the uh, workbook checklist. And so we'll go over each of these um, as we as we go through uh, the workbook checklist. Um, so yeah, let's. Uh, Let's tab over here to the workbook checklist. Um, so the one thing to know about the Green Star program is that the approach we're taking to, um, you know, progressing through certified silver, platinum, gold is sort of just this uh, a, a list of uh, sustainability features of a home that are consistent. Um, across all different homes um, and relative to your local you know climate and your local needs um, but they're a, a consistent list of items that we feel are very important uh, to achieve certified or to achieve silver gold or platinum and so you can see here in column G um, you know it's already pre-sorted for you when you get into it um, by you you know going after the most important, sort of basic green features of a home that we think anyone can achieve from sort of a good, better, best, and the best strategy. Um, so so already just, you know, right out of the gate, um, you know, here is just sort of this list of, of items here that we want um, uh, homes to achieve, um, you know, just to get to certified. And then if you want to get to the silver level, you need to achieve all of these uh, milestones and all of the silver milestones, plus you need to um, also start to achieve some, some points. Uh, so basically, you know, the way you'll, 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 you'll find what uh, points you need to achieve is uh, over here, you can start um, filling out as you go through your project and start putting your plans together or as you're assessing your existing project, um, so for re renovations, you can go through and assess, assess what's existing in that home and already start scoring points and milestones um, as you go through that. So again, you, you might go through and start selecting, you know, yep, we're gonna achieve that. Yep, we're gonna achieve that. Uh, yep, we're gonna achieve that. Um, and so I'm just gonna do this real quick to kind of show you my point here, but I'm gonna, just drag this down. So we've got uh, all the certifieds selected as yes, we're going to achieve those. So um, head over here to the details workbook and you will see uh, here on line 31, certified achieved and it will communicate to you that yes, you've achieved the certified level. So at the certified level, we're not asking you to go out um, and find any other additional credits. It's all just um, achieving those basic uh, basic um, thresholds. Um, okay, and then uh, so again, to uh, to get to to silver, again you're going to be do, doing nearly the same thing. And again, I'm just not recommending you do anything like this because you want to go through each one of these and make sure you're achieving it. 
Um, but uh, but uh, so you can see here, if you fill out all the, the certified ones, it'll say, or the silver ones, it'll say, hey, you're only certified and you've achieved 18 points. And your threshold to get to silver is still uh, seven points. You still need to achieve seven more points. Your threshold to get to gold is 32 and platinum 62. So basically what that means is a couple of things. Once you get to the silver level and beyond, each measure is uh, worth some weight and some, some credit in the, uh, in the rating system. So, um, so in, in order to get to silver, again, it's you know, telling you, hey, we wanna see you achieve seven more additional points. So where can you find those? You can start going into the gold section and you know you you might say yeah you know my bathroom controls have occupancy sensors on them okay great so let's say you've achieved that um and let's say you look at the rest of the gold stuff and go nope haven't done any of that and then you go to the platinum level and you know you might say yeah we've got you know really low flowing toilets um and yeah our water heating is all electric or solar i'm just using these are examples so you don't have to um, be gold or platinum to get points based on the measures in those lists. You can just still, you know, accrue each of those items by just going after um, a few of them if you like. Uh, alternatively, we also have a large list of sort of extra credit, and this list is still growing. It's basically all the sustainability things that a home could do to move forward, either doing new construction or renovation. Um, and so again, you might say, well, none of these platinum or gold items make sense. So maybe we want to go after, you know, a, a couple different uh, um, just basic credits. Like, uh, you know, maybe you've got a, a publicly accessible outdoor space that's uh, near your project. Um, and, you know, maybe you've got, um, you know, a leaf debris blocker on your gutters. Uh, great. So you'll pick up, you know, those uh, corresponding credits there. And again, you can go over here and look and you can see um, we've achieved 26 points and um, we're now at silver. And unfortunately, uh, until we build out our WordPress site, this thing is going to give you, basically, if you see a negative in any one of these, that means you're over the threshold and you're, and you're, and you're doing good. So just don't think of that negative number as a, as a bad thing. But you can just see, hey, the other thing I think I like about the negative is, let's say, during the review process, uh, and the audit, you know, maybe you lost a point. Well, that will just say, hey, here's kind of what your threshold is. Um, you can lose one point and still be at silver. If you left, lost two, you would be, you know, you would be off. Um, so that's kind of the way the, the scoring tool works. Uh, now there's also, as you probably noticed, the ability to select maybe. So again, as you're sitting down, going through your project, going through your team, you might say, yeah, you know, if we have the budget, we might add motion sensors, and sure, we might insulate the cold water lines. Um, you know, that's something we might do. So um, at this point, you can also start to see what your maybe points are. And that can give you some idea that it's, you know, hey, look, you need 24 more points to get to gold. And you've got two maybe points. So, you know, you've got, you know, potentially only 22 more points you need to get to gold if you have those um, those maybe selected. But the maybe is really just there for you to sort of organize this thing if you want, saying, yeah, that's something we might pursue. We still need to have um, a discussion about it. Um, now, you might be going uh, through this and then, um, you know, uh, saying to yourself, uh, oh, yeah, you know, non-paper face drywall backer in the shower and tub surround, just for an example. Well, you know, I, uh, I'm not planning on renovating the bathroom. So that would just be a very expensive thing to do. It doesn't make any sense. Um, so in here, you know, you would just put in not applicable to your project. And then over in the, in the notes here, uh, this would be a great place to say, you know, not um, uh, uh, replacing a shower bath, uh, you know, just an example. So just like a note to the reviewer saying, hey, why did you pick this? Oh, it's because, um, you know, that's that's not what we're planning to do. Um, and that's, you know, a great way to, uh, one of the ways to use this um, this note section here. And, and then, uh, you know, um, as you're going through this, you know, you might um, run into something that, uh, uh, you know, that you, you, you run into an issue with. So, you know, we see this one often, um, carbon monoxide, uh, detectors. 
and you might say, well, you know, hey, I have uh, an all electric home, for example. So what's and, and we have a detached garage. So, you know, there wouldn't be an issue of car pulling in the car carbon monoxide. So you might say, well, why why do I need that? And so you could click the waiver here and then in here explain, you know, all electric home. Uh, no attached garage. Um, and then that will, um, you know, when you submit this uh, for either pre-certification or final, you know, we'll, we'll take a look at your sort of reasoning as to why you want to skip this credit or why you believe you should skip it. And the technical team will say, you know, we'll either, you know, respond back to you with an alternative way to do it or we'll, you know, look, you know, or approve you or, or deny, um, deny the, uh, the credit. So that's kind of the way to use all these. Now at this point, um, the not applicables and the waivers won't, um, won't show up here. So it'll basically still say you're not certified um, because of that. So we're gonna uh, maybe build that out so, so that the not applicables and waivers don't tell you that message. But again, like I said, this is just a sort of interim tool until we launch our full WordPress program. So, so kind of just bear with us that this is just sort of a Band-Aid to get us to that WordPress site that we hopefully will launch by fall. Um, and so we're looking for your feedback on what you'd like to see, um, you know, moving forward. So this uh, tool makes sense for you, um, you know, and your and your clients. So I'm going to stop for a second just to see if there are any questions uh, so far. Okay. Yeah, I don't see any. So um, just feel free to just put them into the chat box. Um, if any, uh, if any questions, uh, do come up. Okay. Um, so, uh, so that's the maybes, the yeses. Um, and so a couple other things here, um, for documentation, this is a great place to kind of explain, you know, how you're documenting each of these credits. Uh, and these are also great notes for you. This is a great place to put notes for a contractor. If you're submitting this um, for bids uh, or you need to add an extra note to the contractor or you are the contractor and you're doing the pricing, you know, this could be a great place to put in some of that costing. I mean, you name it, this is a place to, to utilize all those resources. So um, the other thing that we like is if you have your own um, file online file management system, Google Drive, uh, Dropbox, um, Box.com, you know, whatever you name it. If you have specific photo documentation or a receipt or something else, either you, you as the assessor or you as the team leader, this is a great place to just drop those links directly in. And then that way, when we're going through this review, um, or the assessors going through the review, we can click on that link specific to that credit and then review, um, you know, what's going on there. So as you can see here, this is, uh, this is column C right here. And so, you know, uh, the, those who are uh, the assessors um, of these projects, they're going to have the ability to kind of see this and unlock this or you as the assessor. And so again, they'll be looking for your documentation notes here potentially, or uh, our internal reviewers will be looking for that. And then they're going to be going through and then saying, you know, needs more information, pass the inspection, or they, you know, in this case, this is an example here, they, they granted the waiver. And then if it needs more information, you know, they're going to be putting in, you know, you know, I'm just typing out here, but they're going to be putting in what the reasoning is, what else are they looking for per credit, and then submit to you exactly uh, what they need or or will be submitting that to our assessors and asking them uh, what we need from them. So a great place to like in my like I said to document each one of these items here. It doesn't have to be done that way, but then it's just very straightforward and and the reviewer can see you know exactly uh, what needs to be there. So you won't be able to unlock this. This is and each assessor is going to have their own code and and you if you're the project team leader, the builder, the architect, the homeowner, you don't really need to see this section, um, but the assessor. Uh, or our internal reviewers will be um, you know, using that uh, using that area. Uh, and then also, this is you as the um, assessor or team leader. This is a great place to assign you know who's um, 
uh, responsible. Like this might be a plumbing thing, right? Paul Plumber. Uh, and so, you know, you can go through this whole list and then assign responsibility at the beginning of the project. And then you can use that again to create contracts, to create specifications, uh, whatever you want to do. Um, if you don't want to use this section, you don't have to do that. And then you'll be able to sort by, you know, who's responsible for what, and then just kind of create a PDF or zip it off to everybody who's responsible. Now we tried to take a crack at each of those here, right? So we um, so we we wanted to sort by uh, what we believe who that could be. So that's already kind of pre-done for you. But you might have a specific person or company that you want to sort by and not use our pre-sections here. Um, but again, this is kind of designed just based on what we typically see. And so you can easily um, you know clear that out and then just say, hey, you know, who's, uh, I just want things that are related to the HVAC. Um, so, okay, you know, here are um, all of the uh, HVAC and uh, another one got left on there, but uh, uh, it's a little clunky as you can see, but um, here are all the HVAC related items. So I can go over that when I'm having a meeting with my HVAC contractor, um, for example. Okay. Um, and then last, we've got uh, badges. So on top of the certifications, um, you can actually earn uh, badges. And so um, as you're going through, uh, and let's just use one example that I know works pretty well, um, the zero energy capable. So this is sort of a, our zero energy certification, um, which can be used in Green Star or as a standalone. As you can see, when you select yes on that badge, um, there's probably another item there. Well, here, if you're trying to pursue a badge, this is a great way to um, sort by the items required for that badge. Um, so yeah, as you can see, we're still building uh, the terminology out, but this should have said yes, so we'll get that fixed here soon. Uh, and again, we're working on the WordPress site, so it's all going to be built in there. But uh, well, let's use another example that I know works. Um, uh, let's say you want to go after our all electric home badge, electrified living badge. So again, just um, selecting yes on these items. So yeah, so you can see here, yep, you've achieved the badge, you've done everything you need to know. So we have badges, we're adding some more. So these are just in addition to um, the certification, they're another way of saying, yeah, it was really important to me and to my client to go after zero energy, or very important to go after um, accessibility, or zero water, or resiliency, um, or reduced uh, electromagnetic frequency, and we're gonna be adding some more badges and we're looking for your feedback on what should count and, and what shouldn't um, for each of these things to kind of say, hey, in addition to that green star, here is really what we wanted to focus on um, and also achieve. And those things will kind of um, come out on the um, on the certificate as well. Um, for the accessibility badge, we are using the uh, 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 zero step program, uh, which is the Kent County Disability Advocates uh, zero step program. So this is a full-blown manual here right now on how to achieve um, that program, which ensures true universal accessibility to all, no matter what um, you know kind of issues they face, and it even works you know great for accessibility for kids getting around. Um, and so right now, uh, this is a standalone program, but we're integrating it into the Green Star program when the WordPress site launches, so that accessibility is fully built into Green Star and you know built into the the concept of green. It's a concept of a new way of looking at our health, making sure everybody has access to a home, um, no matter what their challenges are, uh, inclusivity, if you will. So right now it's a little bit clunky, but if you know you have to go through their manual and kind of fill out their checklist and then submit it to us, and then um, if you can hit the the bronze level, you can get the um, accessibility badge. Um, so anyway, you know, as you're going through this uh, 
this uh, workbook here. Um, as we're going through this uh, this workbook here, um, whoop, here we go. As you're going through this workbook here, um, well, let me get to one more last thing on the workbook. Uh, the, 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 the fact of the matter is you and your team probably have some really cool ideas because we haven't covered everything you can do uh, with sustainability and green. And so, um, you know, this is a great place here. These cells are actually unlocked. A lot of this stuff is locked so you can't edit it. Um, but this is a great place to put in you know, an idea that we don't have listed or we haven't thought of. Um, and so what you wanna do is put that idea in there and then uh, select uh, yes. Um, and then, um, well, you know what, I think we locked that one out for you, but uh, yeah. And then, you know, write the idea right up. And here's a great place to link to further resources or education or things we need to know. And then here is where you can kind of propose how much credits you think it might be worth. Um, and, you know, tell us that too. Um, and so, you know, at that point, we'll review the, the idea and then either ask for more information, approve it or deny it. And the great thing is if we approve it, it could be something that just gets um, built right. I mean, the great thing is, is we, we we're looking for, you know, good ideas. And so we, we would build it right into the checklist. So when you go to do your next project, um, you know, this is a way to, uh, you know, it'll already be in there for you uh, and for others to you. So, you know, we know we don't know everything and, and a lot of you all have really cool ideas. So we wanna see what you're proposing that is, um, you know, sustainable that we haven't, uh, that we haven't even thought of. So, um, so anyway, um, the other thing to know about the uh, program here is that uh, each of these credits eventually will have links to them. Um, and again, in the WordPress program, they'll have more information, which is gonna link out to a full-blown uh, manual. And so the manual is not meant to be read uh, like a book by any means from cover to cover, um, but it's meant to, to go and look for the particular credit you're trying to achieve to get more information. So uh, basically what the manual has is the name of the credit, uh, what it's worth, or if it's a prereq, or uh, in some cases you can see, let's see here, it'll say, um, uh, it'll say it's required and worth points. It'll say it's required for gold, and then how many points it's worth. Um, but each one will just give you some details on what the credit's all about. Um, and then it might have links to other alternative resources. And then we have a resources list here to more information. Uh, and then sometimes there might be alternative approaches that we accept that are built in. And then we also have, um, you know, sometimes you're like, what kind of product can help me achieve these goals? And so um, anyone who's a sponsor of our organization and has actually vetted products that work, uh, we list um, potential products that could help you achieve this goal. And just to be clear, this list of products is not the only one that can work. There's as long as they meet the intentions and the goals uh, of the of the of the credit or the prereq, you know, you can use whatever works. So we're just building this out now, um, but this is by no means, you know, dictating what. Uh, it's just there more for a helpful start if you or your clients really have no, you know, idea where to where to start. So to be sure, we're still building out this resource manual. So as we go through this, and you guys are using this for your projects, um, we'll be looking for uh, we'll be looking for your feedback on what's missing and how we can better detail this out. Or if you see a typo, I mean, let us know. If you see a resource a link that we should be linking people out to, we're going to be building this out um, as we as we go, and you know, adding it into the WordPress tool too. Uh, as we go. So in the meantime, if there isn't um, a link to the credit, that's where you can just reach out to us and say, hey, Brett, you know, what um, what do we have to do to achieve this? Because the, the one liner here isn't explaining it to me enough. Or, hey, I have an idea on how, you know, we can word this. Um, and so anyway, we'll be building this out. And so this manual here, again, is fully accessible here. You can download it. Uh, be careful if you download it, because again, we're going to be constantly updating this thing and we're going to be sending updates out to those of you who sign up over here on the join the green star checklist um, 
so we're going to be we're going to be sending that out every time we update a new uh, credit or a new um, piece in the manual. We'll be letting you know. So just be wary that if you if you do download this, uh, it could become dated you know rather quickly um, because we're going to be just continuously updating stuff and then adding in more information as we go until we um, you know get through the beta process hopefully by this time next year and, and have our WordPress tool launched. Um, so, you know, you can check back and, you know, always just ask us questions and we'll, you know, we'll be happy to, to, um, to answer those. Um, so the way that the program works, uh, as you can see here is that it's, um, from an energy standpoint, it's highly performance based. So, um, so we're still trying to build out sort of the wording for this. Um, and especially if you're doing a new home versus an existing, there's going to be a different approach to it. Um, but, uh, you know, as you can see here um, under the certified column, we want existing homes to achieve ideally a Department of Energy home energy score um, of five. So you can see right here on line 27 um, or, an, uh, or uh, less or equal to 34 MBTU per year of energy for new builds, which is roughly 50% better uh, than the typical uh, home. So what this basically means is getting the average home in line uh, with sort of your standard um, uh, home across the country for existing homes. And then new homes, we have a lot more control over. So we want to see those reduced by um, 50%. So it's all strictly a performance-based program. It's not like, hey, how many points do I get for adding insulation to my attic? Or doing this or that it's we're fully want to look at the home holistically and understand and have a report that you can give to the owner or you as the owner to know how much is it going to cost me to operate my house at the end of the year and how much energy and emissions is that going to um, you know produce so in the green star manual um, you will see a full write-up on our current approach to energy efficiency you can see what score home energy score we want you to achieve and then what energy targets we want you to achieve uh, for the equivalent uh, within the new construction. And like I said, we're working on a better way to, to word it in the checklist. And then also the other thing too is we're working on it. So if, you're, if, you, if you go in here uh, and click that you're doing a remodel versus a new build, it'll sort through some of these things that are not relevant, like the energy side. It'll specifically tell you what you need to do for the new versus the remodel. So we're working on that too, and that'll be um, built in. For the most part, you know, 90% of the stuff is consistent between new and existing homes, all the green stuff you can do. But um, if you're doing a, uh, a renovation or a new, or you're doing multifamily versus single family, there are gonna be a 10% difference on, on what's important for the build and what's, what's, you know, what's different. So, um, so, that, so those things should change uh, just depending on which kind of project you're going after. And also for the most part, I will say that this has currently been built for existing homes, which is our main existing single family and multifamily. That's the main thing we're trying to go after. But as you can see, you know, um, we're still certifying uh, new homes as well. Um, but our biggest goal is to sort of move the needle on the, uh, on the existing homes market. So that's where our focus is currently. And so as you're, if you're trying to build a new home and you're like, hmm, some stuff is missing here, not explained very well, uh, don't worry, we're, you know, we're, we, are, um, we are building that in uh, to, to the program. Um, so anyway, back to my point, um, you know, we wanna see uh, a home energy score on the program, on the project. Um, and so, you know, basically what that means is um, you can uh, go through uh, especially as members, um, because members currently um, are getting uh, both free certification and a free preliminary plan review for the project. Um, and then during the beta, we're giving a free certification through 2019 uh, to all projects that start out and help us out in 2019 through the beta process. Um, but basically, this is the information we need. So you as the architect or the designer uh, can go through and fill this out uh, based on uh, what your planned project end result should be. Um, or if you have an existing home and you have some of this information, um, you know, you, you can get us that and we can kind of score out the home and see where it's currently at and then see where it needs to go. So, you know, 
you know, fill this thing out and we really need all this information. So we need, you know, the house to be measured uh, and we need windows to be measured. Uh, so you're gonna have to go through and do those measurements uh, and fill out this information, which helps us sort of build out the model for the house and get an understanding of how much energy it's gonna use uh, based on what's going on in the house. And then if you haven't had a blower door test, you know, there's gonna be some information missing from, from that. So you would just simply click, click the house uh, hasn't been professionally air sealed. Um, and then again, you're just gonna fill this out and then send it to us and then we can get your preliminary score uh, done as well. Uh, conversely, um, we would love for you to become an official home energy score assessor yourself. Um, even if you're not out in the field doing this, if you're a builder uh, or developer or contractor, Again, this is a great way, a great tool that is uh, pretty much an open source federal government program that kind of puts energy modeling into your hands. And so even you as an architect, I mean, this is pretty simple information that you need to fill out. So if you wanna become an assessor, uh, our training is, is pretty much free besides the one-time uh, mentorship on a real home. We have to walk you through a, a real home. Um, but outside of that, um, you can get access to the, to the online scoring tool and then once you go online, you can go through and fill this out in a more formal online way and submit your projects as test homes. And then you'll get back your actual energy score uh, in real time and you'll be able to work on um, the project yourself um, as, you, as you like and you know, produce your own ratings and then submit those uh, 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 to us uh, rather than having us do it. So, but in the meantime, we'll, you know, if you fill this thing out and send it back to us, um, you know, for members, we'll kick you back a score. Um, the other alternative is to go out and hire an assessor. Uh, so um, you can click on these states here and they should populate um, who the assessors are in those states. Um, fortunately, Michigan's not working, so that's sad for me. Um, but anyway, or you can just real easily enter in your zip code and then, you know, call up an assessor and then have them come out and do an initial score on your existing home and then a test out score, which we need for the final certification. Um, and that's, you know, and then these green star or these, uh, these home energy score assessors could also be great green star assessors as well um uh, to do that so that could be another way to do that is you know if you don't want to do all this work and this energy analysis or submit this data you can have them come out and do the testing and inspection um or uh you know one thing we're going to accept right now is the home energy saver pro so uh this tool allows you to kind of go through and enter the features of your home which are very similar to um this report here and then at the end of the day, as you can see here, it'll kind of kick back, you know, what your energy usage and your projected cost will be for the project. Um, and then we'll line that up with um, the home energy score numbers and we can probably, you know, assess your house that way. Um, we also are allowing uh, alternative programs like Woofy Passive, the Passive House Planning Package and BF. At the end of the day, um, the number we're looking for is uh, energy use in MBTUs or kilowatts per year. That's kind of the number we're after because that really tells us how much energy the house is gonna use and what the bills are gonna be for the clients. So all these different tools and approaches, they just kind of get you this result, this N number, and that's really what we're after. Um, and so, so each of these scores here have an equivalent energy use per, um, you know, per, uh, per weather area and so, We'll look that up for you. Um, we have a link here that kind of gives you some more data on that, but we'll look that up. But but the ultimate goal of Green Star is to have homes that have, you know, predicted energy usage that people can compare when they're buying or selling a home, you know, which helps with lending, which helps with mortgages, which helps with rebate, rebates and financing. And so our whole goal is to just have these comparative energy usages per year. And for existing homes, and we really think the best way to get there is the home energy score because it's a real clean number. But we understand people are using different programs. Um, and you know, HERS index makes the most sense for new homes. And again, Woofy Passive makes a lot of sense for, for new homes uh, as well. So we'll, you know, we'll we'll take those. Um, we'll take those too. So uh, let's see.
Any other questions on the um, energy efficiency front? Okay, I'm just tracking those, and so I'll be happy to answer questions as I'm going along. Um, the other thing we have here is something new, and it's a performance-based approach um, to water efficiency. So as you're going through and you're looking at the water requirements, you will see uh, currently that you have we have this prescriptive thing. Uh, so to get certified, we want to see 2.2 gallon per minute shower heads on average. So if there's two shower heads, you average them. Two, two on gallon per minute on bathroom aerators, and then one point, um, uh, and then the toilets are under 1.6 on average per flush. Um, so that's what we're looking for as a prescriptive path. Now, um, you might say to yourself, well, you know, geez, this is uh, a high end client and they really need that massive rain shower head. Um, and they need that three gallon per minute shower head. Uh, okay, and you know maybe you say, well, this is a low income housing project, and you know they really are really nervous about the toilets, uh, just really skeptical about them, even though we know the low flows work and work better. That's fine. We, you know, they've had a issues, so they want to stay at that 1.6 level. Okay, great. So the alternative is to do what we call the water performance pathway to our um, newly developed and beta home water score, uh, which is in version one right now. So this is the home water score tab over here. And I'm not gonna go through it right now because we have a full uh, uh, webinar uh, that we've already done on this that's fully available. Um, and um, and so, uh, you know, we're gonna, um, you can access that on our YouTube channel right now and watch the full thing. And it's gonna take you through how to use this tool. But again, same as energy performance, the whole idea is that we have a water performance score and understand what the water bills are going to be and what the end water usage is going to, to be um, uh, for the house. And it's an alternative way. And it's also a way, if you're really aggressive about going after water, it's a way to score more points uh, in the water section and then potentially even get the zero water badge if you wanna chase after that. Um, and then the same go for outdoor water budget. Um, right now we're um, utilizing the WaterSense outdoor water budget tool. Um, and so we have a full blown webinar on that as well. And that tool integrates right into our, um, our home water score. Um, so the uh, outdoor water usage here, uh, if you are doing outdoor water, um, you know, you're gonna put that information in here or you're just gonna leave it alone and say, you know, we're not touching uh, we're not doing a landscape plan, so we're just going to to ignore it. Um, but you'll also see in the in the public access folder, uh, we have the outdoor water sense water budget scoring checklist that you can download and fill that out. And this neat little webinar here will um, show you uh, how to how to do that. So that's available for free on our YouTube channel. Um, so any questions on water? I don't see any right now, um, but again, we'll we'll do some more Q and A at the end. Um, so another thing to know about Green Star is that we have um, created this open source tool uh, that's I believe linked in the in the manual here, and if not, I'll get it in there right away. But this is fully open source on our website called the Green Home Inspection Checklist. So this checklist is typically for the assessors to do uh, pre analysis or at the very least do a post inspection analysis of a home that wants to pursue Green Star. Um, and this checklist is kind of what I would call just a home inspection light plus a focus on energy, ventilation, health, and water conservation. Uh, and it's, you know, it's basically a home inspection. And so we have, um, you know, our assessors in the field using this every day now. And, you know, we're in com communication with them uh, about, you know, getting this updated and making it be relevant and make sense. Um, but this is a, a tool that's great for those of you who just want to hit like a basic certification to start with, especially on renovations. So effectively, you know, this this can be filled out and then sent to us um, as the reviewers. 
and then we'll just go through and anytime we we flag an issue um, you know we'll say hey this issue needs to be corrected uh, ideally in the test in stage so you can you know put your budget together with your team um, and then you know we'll see the final one get submitted and then we'll review it and if everything looks good um, you know we'll certify your project um, just right there on the spot you know without having to go through uh, you know this workbook at all um, and go through all of these uh, points here so most of the points and everything are right in here um, it's just there's no point I mean well there's no points I just mean most of the requirements are in here but this is just a very holistic way to review a home for health ventilation durability water and we're going to be training more assessors on how to use it and even if you're not an assessor but you know you know you're a contractor or an architect and you know enough to be dangerous you know feel free to use this thing to evaluate um, your client's project as you walk through it and fill it out and submit it um, and then that way it's a quick quick and easy us for us to take a look at it and say yeah here are some of the things you need to do so this is just an alternative approach to certifying and it's a tool designed for um, Green Star inspections. By no means is it required. It doesn't even have to be used at all. It's just there as sort of an addendum. And like I said, we have assessors in the field every day now turning uh, homes over to the basic level of certification uh, here in West Michigan. Um, you know, quite a bit of them, you know, using this tool. And so we're going to also be doing, um, you know, a more in-depth training on this uh, as well. Um, so uh, there's a lot of questions too about what we're looking for um, for um, for uh, for um, uh, quality assurance. Um, and so for quality assurance um, and uh, verification of how you've done it, so each credit's gonna kind of has um, a, a, a note on it on what's needed for verification if we have built it out and specifically what we need to see. And so if you're the assessor, this is a good practice for you to get into to, you know, read through each of these verification items and be, you know, capturing those yourself. Um, and so for assessors, what we do is they submit to us um, the certification review, and then we review a certain percentage of their work, um, sometimes on site. Uh, if they're also our lead green raters, then it's a great two for one, because if we're doing quality assurance on their lead work, uh, that can actually count for um, for quality assurance on Green Star as well. So that's for any of you who are, are Green Star raters who are working with. Um, but uh, from the assessor standpoint, we'll be doing a, um, like a, a percentage review. We're still working on that process. Uh, as more of these homes come through the beta, we're going to try to figure that out of each of these credits. Um, but if you're the project team owner, the architect, the builder, um, a home performance contractor, or you're the owner yourself and you want to, uh, you can't get access to a third party rater, you don't have one near you, uh, or you want to self, you know, certify the project, we do have that pathway for now. And so the best way to take that approach, and this is even for our raters, is we need to do video. So we kind of need to have you, you know, video us in to, um to the house and really just be able to see be able to put the house in context with the site and see everything uh, visually that's going on along with some documentations and notes and receipts and all of that um, but we really need to actually see the project uh, virtually and more than just photos and so I, I, I we use this Marco Polo app with our, our green Raiders in the field uh, and we encourage green star assessors to use it but you as the um, homeowner or architect, you know, who's doing your own project, you know, you can use this uh, tool. It's not, as you can tell, it's more of a family engagement, you know, it's a tool to help connect with your family. But um, we actually use it for assessments because it's really cool. You can go into the field and you can just take quick uh, sort of notated um, uh, videos of each of the items, you know, let's say the insulation, installation, pre-drywall, the blower door testing, the um, flow rates on your devices, the solar panels, you name it. Um, you can do a quick video, explain what it is, show us the details we need to see. You can even, as you can see, notate things on it. And then you can shut the video down and then move on to the next item so you're not filming the whole thing entirely, but that we just need to see that. Um, and then you add us um, to your project and then that just submits those videos to us uh, on Marco Polo and then we can go through and review it 
and then let you know, hey, you know, there's something we didn't see here. And so we're going to be doing more detailed training and webinars on that. Again, this is this Green Star program is all in very beta stage. So for those of you interested um, and want to do self submissions, um, you know, uh, reach out and we'll, we'll we'll go through that. But that's kind of the strategy we're using. And, and even if you just want to film it with your phone or film it with an alternative tool, um, you know, we don't have to do this one. We just really like how this one kind of lets you do these quick videos and they would just automatically send it to us uh, without having you to go back to your office and just, you know, uh, send a bunch of videos. So it, it works out really well. But if you have a new idea too, you know, let us know. That's what, um, you know, that's the one we're using right now, like I said, um, in the field. Um, so yeah, that's that's pretty much what we have uh, right now. And and like I said at the beginning, for those of you who, who joined us here, a little bit later, um, uh, we are uh, we are building this out on our WordPress site, so it'll be uniformly available to all people who don't have such a great time using Google. Um, and and pretty much the points and the structure are all going to function the same. It'll just have a better look and feel and work better on a smartphone and a tablet, uh, or if you're in the field. Um, and it will again work just by logging into our site um, and you won't have to deal with Google Sheets uh, as well either. Um, and the other thing about this pro program too is if you're doing, um, if you're kind of just doing the consistently the same project over and over again, especially on new builds or let's just say you're a home performance contractor and you're kind of just, you know, doing the same types of projects, you know, you don't have to keep recreating it, this over and over again. Once you've got the first one down, you just go and make a copy and then, you know, tweak whatever is different. But you don't have to keep going back to this checklist and redoing it as long as you're doing the same plans and same specs. And the WordPress program will be set up the same way, um, you know, where you can just kind of refresh it and then just tweak, um, you know, what's going to be different. So, um, yeah, that that's all I have uh, right now. Uh, we have about six minutes left to the time that we were going to end the presentation. Um, so I didn't know if there were any specific questions, but, uh, you know, I think really you just got to really just got to find a project. Um, could be your own house if you're planning an update um, or, you know, if you've got a builder you're working with and we want to pilot this with them. I mean, that's what we're looking to do here, looking to get people's feedback who aren't doing green homes just to kind of tell us what's working, what's not. Um, and so really, I think the best way to do this is just to just dive right into it and, and, you know, start using it on a project. And like I said, um, it's, it's completely, uh, free right now under the beta and we are, um, uh, charging a hundred dollars for the preliminary plan reviews, uh, which aren't required, um, but highly recommended. Um, and those are though free for our members uh, right now too. So you know, as a member of GHI, you'll you'll get that. But uh, what what the benefit is of the of the preliminary plan review is you know you get a credit, and then um, also the the good news is is that you know we're going to review everything uh, before your project starts and just tell you, yep, you're on track, or hey, there's an issue here, we want to see this change, or maybe propose some ideas uh, that you haven't thought of. Um, and that can be done in the form of you just sending us everything and us doing a desktop review, or we can help lead an online meeting or in-person meeting if you're in the area, um, and we can go through that with you. Again, it's not required. Um, it's just highly recommended. And then also, once you get through that plan review uh, and that's completed, we will submit to you the uh, Green Star um, ID number. It'll generate an ID number. And sometimes if you're going after, you know, in the future, if you're going after like um, tax credits or incentives or people just want to see progress has been made, they typically ask for the green building ID number all the time. They do the same thing for lead. So that's a great way to generate that ID number um, prior to uh, certification. Otherwise, the number comes at, at the end um, during certification. So. So yeah, uh, at, at this point, I will um, I'll just uh, open it up to questions. Uh, this is being recorded, and it's going to be on our YouTube channel as well. And you know, as we progress through this and launch the WordPress, we'll do uh, another training as well. And then we're also planning to do 
um, some like longer trainings on the actual technical review of each of these credits and how to achieve them. Um, and we're going to be doing more in-depth uh, uh, trainings on that as well. And we have a lot of webinars on our website and other things uh, and resources where you know each of these different items um, have some some ways to achieve them and lessons learned and and how to do it. So, um, well, if you if you run into a problem, you know we can send you to some of those sources and, and you can let us know. But uh, thank you.